Well, g'day curd nerds. Welcome to another cheese tasting video. Uh, today, we're gonna be tasting Grana Padano. It's not really Grana Padano. It's just something that I've made that's kind of like Grana Padano. Well, welcome to my new studio. As you can see, we're all set up here for filming, taste tests, and all sorts of other videos, not necessarily ones on this channel, of course. Uh, but today we are taste testing, as I mentioned, Grana Padano. Now this cheese was made on the uh, 25th of August, 2019. Uh, so it is over a year old. So it's 12, 13, 14, 14 months old. I made it with uh, Inglenook Dairy uh, low fat milk, um, which was about, it was about 1.5% fat, but I added a little bit of, um, of full cream milk or whole milk to it to bring the fat level up to about 2%. Uh, and I did have the tasting down for the, uh, the 25th of May, but it's obviously gone past there due to lockdown and a whole bunch of other stuff that the studio that I'm filming in there wasn't ready, but now it is. So it's pretty good looking cheese. Uh, it seemed to have survived the vac packing quite well. There's a little bit of moisture underneath the plastic, but I think that can be expected for a cheese that's been aged this long. It feels very firm as it was when I put it into the vac packing. Uh, so I kind of expect it to have that grainy texture, which is exactly what Grana Padano and these styles of, of cheese have. Uh, it's in the same family, obviously, as Parmigiano Reggiano, or as known here commonly in Australia as Parmesan. So it's in that family of very small curd grains, long aged, a low fat style milk. Uh, so that's the sort of cheese it is. So let's have a look at the cheese. I've got my trusty scissors here. We'll cut her open. So yeah, there is a bit of moisture in the bag. But it's not too bad. Actually, when you look at it like this, there's hardly anything, it's just surface. Oh, and you can smell already the aroma of the Grana Padano cheese. Um, very, very good. So let's just, I'll get rid of a bit of that moisture. I've got some paper towel here, which I sometimes use just to sop up a little bit of the moisture. Certainly won't hurt this cheese at all. First side, I can actually see some um, some crystals on the outside, which I can't expect to be uh, either calcium lactate or tyrosine. I think it's tyrosine. Um, so, without any further ado, before I do, I just wipe my hands because got a lovely juice all over it. Right here we go. Oh, this is a very hard cheese. Mmm, it's cutting well. Alrighty. Oh yeah, nice grainy texture. Um, it's very good indeed. Very grainy. Beautiful colour too. That Inglenock Dairy Milk makes a really good coloured cheese. So let's just shave a slice off. So I want to get into this bad boy. Cuts well, but as you can see, it is grainy. That's exactly what it's supposed to be like. Um, so perfect texture. The smell, oh, smells like <laughs> I've gone to heaven. Uh, hard Italian cheese style. Let's try a little bit without a cracker to start with. Oh. 
That is sensational. That is, that was absolutely worth the wait. This is going to be fantastic in pasta dishes, um, over salads. Oh, let me have a bit more. So good. Don't normally eat it on a cracker, but I'll have a piece. Adds a little bit to it, but not much. Better as a grating cheese. Well, the flavor is certainly all there. As I said, the texture is perfect uh, for this style of cheese. Uh, this is gonna be a fantastic grating cheese. Now to store it long term, basically what I'm gonna do is cut it into probably eighths um, and vacuum pack each eighth. So when we go to cook pasta or what have you, whatever we're gonna use um, the Grana Padano in is uh, just we use one eighth. And I'll store them in the kitchen fridge. I don't think I'll let it age any longer, even though it would become stronger if I did leave it at 13 degrees Celsius in the cheese cave. But I think this is perfect. I, I wouldn't touch, I wouldn't age it any further if you know what I mean. So a fantastic result. That's Grana Padano. If you want to check out the video on how I made it, uh, I'll put that on one of the end cards. Um, and also I'll put it in the description below. Well, thank you so much for watching this cheese taste test video. It's been a long time in coming. As I said, 14 month old Grana Padano, you can't do much better, um, especially when it tastes like the real deal. I'm not trying to copy Grana Padano or take away their, you know, special uh, PDO designation. This is just a homemade Grana Padano. So hopefully, if you're Italian, please be kind in the comments, that's for sure. Anyway, well, thank you for watching Curd Nerds. If you want to make this cheese, then I highly recommend the Italian Cheese Kit uh, over at littlegreenworkshops.com.au. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.